Earth signs. Hey y'all, welcome back to another elemental video, another week of element videos. Thanks for coming back. You know, I appreciate you. I love you. Um, so we are going to motherfucking get into it. Um, I'm just going to give you the spiel I gave to water signs. I filmed earth signs and fire signs last night, but I was feeling, um, started to feel really overwhelmed. So I decided that I would finish them today. So today I'm doing water and earth. Okay. And, um, I just decided after sleeping on it that I'm not going to really read reversals, AKA slash I'm just going to flow. And if, if there's some reversals that I feel like need to be read reversed, I, I will, um, uh, reading reversals for me, for me feels very much like swimming up a stream. It feels very counterintuitive. It feels, you know, it just, um, it feels very draining. Um, plus I did a lot of readings yesterday prior. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and give myself a little bit of a break, um, and read the reversals if they feel necessary uh, the way that I won't. But here we go. Let's get into it. Earth signs. I love you. Thank you for coming back. Earth signs. Earth signs. There are no rules, y'all. Oh, no. There are no rules. You flow the way your little body needs to flow, or your big body, whatever body. Earth signs. Earth signs. Here we go. <laughs> Moon. Okay. So, okay, so so you're very interesting, guys. Um really interesting looking. The way it looks is very interesting. Let me see let me try and take a minute. Sorry. Picking out my eye boogers. <laughs> um I could do that. I'm in my house. I'm not sharing cooties with nobody. Um Okay, so the first card you got here is this. I can't see shit, but that's okay. It's all blurry, but I, I don't need to see anything. You got the moon card. But look at these that follow. Wow. They all look really similar with these lines. Wands and swords. Wands and swords. Very, um, do you see what I'm seeing? Just a lot of lines. Just kind of feeling separated, kind of fragmented, maybe a little bit lonely. Um, the moon card is your only major arcana so far. So um, this definitely talks about a time that feels kind of sad, kind of lonely, kind of heavy, kind of overwhelmed. This is a water card. So, you know, humans were meant to breathe air. Wow. We're not meant to breathe under the water. I've been watching lately a lot of that show called Deadliest Catch with the fishermen. A past life, I definitely was a fisherman. I was some, I was on a ship for sure. I just fucking, I fucking, I can't get enough of the show. Uh, I used to watch a lot when I was a kid and I just picked it back up. Long story short, I, I watched these men offload these crab and I just can't help but feel for these crab. Like being pulled out of their habitat to, um, and yet I can't stop watching the show. So why I'm talking about this is because this is a water card. We're, we're not meant to live in the water. So, and I recently had a, a dream. It was borderline nightmare, but it, 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 it turned out okay with my daughter falling into a pool and me having to pull her out and watching her face as she was being submerged underwater. And I wasn't sure if she was okay or not. I went ahead and pulled her out because I didn't want to regret not saving her. She ended up being fine. But just that slow motion of watching her body sink down to the bottom of the pool, watching her face, keeping an eye on her face, realizing she was not able to breathe. So this is just kind of this very kind of watery kind of depths right now. Okay. There's a lot that needs to be done. Maybe not like done as far as like 
what humans work, 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 hard, hard, hard. But there's a lot of emotional diving deep. Look at these wands shooting downward. Deep dive, deep dive, deep going within. A lot of downward motion in these sticks and, and swords. I guess that's what I'm getting at. Downward motion, down. Look at these. Downward motion. We're, we need to be going down and under. And that's okay. And that's okay. Now, this is what I'm seeing besides my own interpretation that had nothing to do with the tarot, really. The moon talks about feeling a little bit crazy, feeling, feeling overwhelmed, um, feeling... Um, um, like it's a time of darkness, okay? Followed by the Eight of Wands, which is spirit messages, okay? It can also talk about true love, okay? So this is a time where we really need to pay attention to the signs and symbols, okay? Very, very important. Pay respect to spirit when they are trying to get your attention. Don't just brush it off. Go within Meditation, contemplation, super beneficial. Getting away from the crowd, keeping it quiet, maybe getting off social media a little bit. Um, we feel like... It may be feeling like for some people, like we're, we're having to defend ourselves. Defend and protect that which we love. Um, I almost feel like crying. Hold on. Okay, me against the world, protecting what's mine, protecting what's mine, okay? And taking a step back before you make choices, it's a two, before you make your choices, taking a step back and reevaluating. Make make sure, look how he's looking at everything here. We, we like to look at the tarot, the relationships that people are having on the board. There's a relationship here. He's looking at everything. The way the cards are interacting with each other, not just how they are individually. The way that they flow together. The story that they're telling to each other. He's looking at this whole scenario and he's like, hold up, let me take a look at it and reevaluate. Make sure you, all your ducks are in a row. Okay? It's a lot of blue and white here. Starting to bring in some yellow, lightening up here a bit, a little bit of joy being sprinkled in here. So we got the Queen of Pentacles. So ta-da, we showed up. Excuse me. Are you itchy? You itchy? You itchy? I always want to scratch it for Don't you want to like get their spot for them? Queen of Pentacles, she's us, we are her, we're one, okay, very earthy, so so some of us need to get outside, <laughs> I probably need to get, my ass probably needs to be out there doing these readings outside, some of us need to get outside and feel the crunch beneath our feet, okay, because there's, a, there's a, a rebirth happening here, so you've got one major arcana on top, it was the moon, you got one major arcana in the center here, and you got the fool. He is the very first guy of the Tarot. Very first. So he speaks about brand new beginnings, rebirth, be like a child, and just just do it. A leap of faith. Okay? A leap of faith. Because moving forward, closest to our heart in the center column, we have this Ten of Pentacles. Okay? More Pentacles, more earth, more stability, more career, more finance, more health, more wholeness in the body. Okay, I realize that these like kind of blend together the, 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 the dresser and the card. It just looks blurry, so it probably doesn't look anything like it, but without my glasses, they look similar. So this speaks about generational wealth and abundance. This is about securing the bag, securing um, something for your family that will be uh, 
something that the family can use for generation, generations and generations to come. Here in this picture, we have the grandpa, we have a couple, we have a child, and we have pets. It's also emphasized, pets are emphasized in this card. Uh, the card is ruled by, I believe, it's the sixth house, which I believe is the house of pets. Uh, I'll double check that, but... Drink plenty of water, too. Saw, saw a lot of blue in the first part of the reading. We want to make sure that we're hydrating plenty. Um, after the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Three of Cups. Celebration. Celebratory energy. Yes, family, communities, fam uh, friendships coming together to celebrate this King of Swords. Just implying, like that the fact that you have mastered or the endeavor to master the way you you process information, the way you look at the world, just clean, just clear, clear, just totally clear up here. Air sign, this would be air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, but he really just talks about very decisive, very logical person, somebody who um, um, will make a choice and, and, and sticks to it. But he, he's flexible at the same time. He's got this, this lovely flow to him that, that happens still. Okay. So there's a lot of, lot, lot of joy coming in here. More pentacles, guys. Wow. Okay. You did get one reversal down here. I told you I was going to flow and just decide when it felt accurate to, to touch on these. It was this Knight of Swords. I will get to this, but there is a situation here with somebody who's perhaps been very impulsive and, and kind of rageful in your life. Um, and I feel like they're going to be dealt with. Like, like I don't mean to be violent or aggressive, but it, that's that's how I felt when I saw these two together. Because you got the Knight of Swords and you got the the Empire, the Empire, the Emperor. Okay, he's the daddy of the deck. He don't fuck around. Okay, so he's here to s stand by the rules, make sure you're doing things the right way. Okay, I'm gonna turn this Knight back over. First card you got in this row is this Two of Pentacles. It's very interesting. I love seeing patterns when I read. The top right corner and the bottom left corner, diagonal from each other, doot, doot, um, are twos. Two and two, showing like these very stable pieces of your life in these corners that um, that are they're kind of like cornerstones. Cornerstones, yes very important to think about. They're twos. You have a lot of choices. There's some crossroads that are happening here. This one speaks about getting off the karmic wheel, about not recreating patterns and habits, okay? So a um, big way we can conquer this is, remember the first row talked about, like delving, diving deep, delving there, uh, being able to sit there, a med meditation, contemplation. Um, I would highly suggest sitting with these emotions that are coming up. Look in the background. The waves are up and down. It's like a roller coaster. It's very tumultuous. So this is a tough time. But you have an opportunity and you have a lot of choices that you can make. Or maybe not a lot of choices, but you could make the choice to stop recreating these patterns. It's followed by the Six of Pentacles. You guys got a lot of Pentacles, which is good. It's you. It's Earth. Um, this shows resources. This card has been motherfucking relentless. This card has been showing up for everybody. I swear, I really, like, every reading I sit down to do, this card comes up in one shape or form. Um, sometimes it comes reverse, sometimes, but it's always here. So upright, he talks about feeling so fulfilled within yourself that you're able to give back. It's about resources and balance. It's about a give and a take. Um, 
a give and receive, okay? It's about helping those around us. It's about community, okay? It's great it, it came up, right? It shows that if you can get off this karmic wheel and proceed diligently, you'll be fulfilled and you'll be able to give back. Followed by the Page of Pentacles, right down the center, closest to our heart. Page of Pentacles is about uh, something new. I hear a hummingbird. I don't see him, I hear him. So hummingbird, bringing more joy into our lives, not taking life so serious, having, being joyful and, 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 and free. Oh, aren't you a handsome young man? I can't even see you. Well, there you are. That's Simba. So development of something that which will pay off greatly. Something either of career or financial gain or something that will benefit your health, your body, or your family life. Things of the earth, okay? And here, this guy, this fucker, he's reversed. He was reversed. I put him upright because I, I don't, I'm tired of looking at it. It's, dra it's draining to stare at it like this the whole time. It really, it's, it's like pulls my energy out. It's a trip. So there is some situation that you're going to have to really be balanced with, okay? Because you start and you end with this. Start and end. This talks about getting off the karmic wheel and making choices. And this is about your dad type energy. Yeah, if you don't have a dad, I don't fucking have a dad. So what, what does dad mean to me? It doesn't really mean shit. But um, what this can talk about is just doing things the right way. I don't have a dad, but I know how to follow the rules. I know how to be fair. So that's what this talks about, okay? I didn't need a dad to teach me that, right? It was taught to me by women. Two, two, beep, beep. So there's this situation where we can really get off this karmic wheel and break patterns and habits that will bring us a lot of abundance, a lot of resources, and help us develop these new beautiful projects. But don't deal with them like somebody like this. Don't be rageful. Don't be revengeful. Don't be shady, okay? Do things the right way. Be balanced because this energy is always paying attention to balance things out. Okay, the father archetype. Okay, let's pull three cards from the reverie for you guys. Checking the time. My glasses are right there. I could have just put those on. Look, I'm a little fiery today, you guys. It's just how it is. Y'all getting to know me real good, huh? Oh, that's one. Okay, here we go. What's this? Ooh, the crosses we bear. This talks about burdens. Things that are just heavy on our heart. Okay, this talks about, this is called the park. This talks about the people around us and just paying attention to the gossip going on around us. And I'll read a little bit more from that. Lordy, the f this fucking fox. He's been coming out a lot too. So sneaky energy. So that is, it's funny, he falls right above this, what would have been reversed. Um, Knight of Swords. He's sneaky. He's conniving. Let's read about the park real quick. 20. Oh, yeah. Tripping. Glasses for that for sure. Get it, girls. When you are going to a party, a concert, or a business meeting, I'm sure to show up in your reading. You will find me in a reunion, or a retreat, or a riot, or a picnic. Oh, no wonder this is coming out a lot, too, though. This has been coming out for a lot of people. Riot. Um, or a picnic. I like crowds and public events, so naturally I'm good with all your networking intents. There may be a situation with social media or the, 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 the main place that you are expending your energy, wherever that is for you, whether it be actually in a workplace, uh, the gym, your home, social media. For me right now, the biggest place I expend my energy is social media. It's whatever it is for you. It's the place where you expend your energy. It's, it's taking a toll. It's taking a toll. The cross we, the cross we have to bear, the uh, social scene, 
and some trickery here. Okay, so be very mindful of how you're putting yourself out there, whether in your family or whether uh, it be in the technology world, um, in the, you know, social media world. Um, protect your energy. You might have to pull it in, rein it in for a little bit. Okay, bottom of the deck. Let's see what you got. Ooh, okay, yeah. I like, I like this one reverse. We finna take it. So this talks about old patterns about being very paranoid and kind of almost having this hoarding type of mentality. Uh, you get something that's good and you don't want to let go of it. You've worked very hard and diligently and you should be, um, you should be rewarded for it. But, um, it's, it's, it's almost too good to be true. So you don't want to let it go. Paranoia. Hoarding. So it came reverse. I said I wasn't going to read re reversals, but I'm glad that this came reverse because in this instance, I like it. This talks about being tired of that energy. I'm over it. I'm done feeling like that. This is not going to hold me down any longer. Okay. <sighs> okay, Earth Signs, you're my last video of the day. I love you so much. I thank you for watching. Uh, let let your girl know what you thought. And um, I'll see you next week, okay? Take care. Bye.